Smoking is one of the leading causes of preventable deaths, according to World Health officials. Efforts to stop tobacco use have been seeing some success, but as the United Nations is pointing out, there is still a long way to go. Ian Lee has details. It's known smoking can kill. Now a new report from the World Health Organization is highlighting tobacco's deadly impact. Tobacco use continues to be one of the biggest public health threats with 8.7 million people dying from tobacco related diseases every year. While roughly 1.3 million non-smokers die every year from secondhand smoke, the UN report also finds there are 1.3 billion tobacco users around the world. Around 80% of them live in low and middle income countries, and tobacco kills up to half of its users. The WHO says the fight to end tobacco use hasn't been easy. The tobacco industry is a powerful and resourceful industry, which even today continues to grow in terms of profit and influence. But the WHO pointed to progress, a 5% drop in the number of smokers over the last two decades. It credited its Empower program, a series of anti-tobacco efforts countries can use, like highlighting the risks of smoking, helping people quit, and raising taxes on tobacco. The WHO says roughly 70% of the world's population is now protected by at least one of these measures, and adds they not only help nations reduce health care costs, Having them in place can save lives. Ian Lee, CBS News.